in Baton Rouge at Tiger Stadium. Megan, let's give this a second try. <laughs> Yeah, let's do this again, just like overtime, right? Look, I'm here to give y'all an exclamation point to, to the things that you all mentioned. I'm so sorry if y'all hear the band right now. But that defensive performance that the Tigers have put on, I can't believe I'm saying it, but that was one of their most complete performances, as you all mentioned. I mean, guys like Whit Weeks, who was a stud, Ashton Stamps, I mean, Zy, uh, Zy Alexander, Major Burns, the list goes on and on. And you, maybe you couldn't expect this when they have already lost their best defensive performer of the day. But LSU just essentially found a way to win win against this Ole Miss team. That defense holding Ole Miss to only 26 points, a team that averages over 30 points in the regular season, but also since they've been in SEC play as well. So LSU, again, finding a way to win. Gary Nussmeyer possibly not having the best game of the season. Um, he only completed, I believe, under 50% of his passes, but he was able to make the biggest pass of his night to Kyron Lacey to, uh, to put the game on ice there as LSU bounces back from last year or avenges their loss from Ole Miss last year. Obviously, this was not a shootout performance from their 55 to 49 loss last year. But LSU on top, it is a party in Baton Rouge, as you all might have saw earlier. There were the fans definitely stormed the field. They've been cleared out now, but it's definitely a party in Baton Rouge, and you can bet your bottom dollar they are not sleeping tonight. No, they saw Megan Glover about to do a live shot, and they cleared out real fast. They said, We don't want any of that smoke. Megan, we'll check in with you in just a few Thank minutes, you. of course.